So, Thorin, what's the greatest slaver in the galaxy doing in New Texas? Just paying me a social call? I'm here on business. Something that could make you rich and powerful. Powerful? I am powerful. Really? The world around the galaxy is that Brave Star runs the show on this planet. Brave Star? <laughs> I'd like to show that vomit of a marshal who's boss around here. Maybe you can, if you're interested in my proposition. I'm listening. Good. I need some special slaves to dig for gems on the planet Lore. The mines are narrow, so I need small slaves and lots of them. Supposing I could find what you're looking for. You mentioned a proposition. Bring me the slaves, and I'll give you a little weapon I invented. The Macro Missile. Macro Missile? Never heard of it. <laughs> it can flatten a whole town. Ah. Oh. With a weapon like that, I could destroy Fort Carrium and run Brave Star off of New Texas. I just might have the slaves you're looking for. Oh? Yeah. They're called Prairie People. This is a perfect day for celebrating the birthday of Fort Carrium. Careful with that! It costs more than I pay you in a year. Uh huh, cause you so cheap. What? Did you, what, what, what was that? Oh, first day, he did sleep. You sleep? It's only morning. Now, easy with that lantern. Need some help there? Get first down. Silly rope trip fuzz out of time. I put you in shirts so don't trip. Mm, sure, blame the rope. Next time, Fuzz, do it like this. No! All right, now, listen to me. I've got a plan for capturing them prairie people. <coughs> <coughs> Cuz, knock off that coffin, or I'll make you wish you never saw a cigar. <coughs> All right, Tex. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. First, we block off all the prairie people's escape tunnels. There'll be just one tunnel they can use, the one we make. And when they use it, zap! They'll get a big surprise. <laughs> you look back in for me, you know, and I'm ready for this celebration. Hello, me for that new jacket. Must wear it to celebrations. Wait for me, maybe a white bag. Ah, there they are. Now for some fun. <laughs>
It's almost time for the celebration, and I haven't seen any prairie people. Uncle Fuzz! Mush! Guess he went to Wagon Cave! Oh, who did? They gone fly away! You need to get me off to leave Rudy! <laughs> Whoa, little guy. Tell Uncle Fuzz what happened. What did he say? <gasps> well, if people caught in cage, we take six on top, fly into spaceship, oh, go toad hexagon. A spaceship with Tex Hex? Better take a look at the hexagon. Mm, there's a ship. Let's go and see what this is all about. Mm, all right, let's do some stomping. <laughs> The ship's still hovering next to the hexagon. How is it up there? Mm. <laughs> I could always try a power jump. No, oh, no. Have I ever missed yet? No, but it's always first times. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Fuzz. Not much choice, Fuzz. Hop on. Let's go for it, Big Pard. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> Hang on! That was close. Oh, too close. Well, there's your little slaves. Little? Yes, but not little enough. Not yet. Gar! The mini-sizer. Switch it on for our guest. Now they're small enough. Hey, pretty neat, Thorin. I tell you what, Thorin. I'll get some more prairie people if you give me one of them mini sizes. I'll do better than that, Tex. How you like to try it out yourself? I surely would. Give it to him, Gar. Hey! What's that going? <laughs> you rotten double crosser! I need someone to boss my little miners, and little you gets the job. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, you can't do this to me! Um, Texas! <laughs> You'll do as you're told, little slave. Oh, boy, oh, guys, we got our ship. How we get in? Strength of the bear! The bear! The bear! The bear! <laughs> Marshal Bravestar, we were just talking about you. Let me introduce my welcoming committee. Well now, we're pleased to meet you too. At a girl, Sarah Jane. All right, guys, now it's my turn. Straight to the bear. 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 <laughs> <laughs> A perfect strike. Well done, gentlemen. But not well enough. The game is over. It's time to join your friend, Tex X. Hmm? Tex X? Where? There. Uh oh, we big, big trouble. Good. I like trouble, and I'm about to get mad! Get as mad as you wish, but first, 
Why don't you talk it over with Tex? Now, Gar! <laughs> oh, no! I'm a pony! <laughs> You can't keep us like this, Thorin. Yeah, you'll be in big trouble. Well, isn't this interesting? Marshal Bravestar and Big Bad Tex Hex agreeing about something. <laughs> Why don't you just use your strength to the bear to get us out of here? I wouldn't advise that. It's a freeze cage. If you touch those bars... <laughs> You'll be electro-frozen. And even if you do manage to find a way out, my power robots and Gar will be waiting. <laughs> oh, Sarah Jane's what we need. Where'd she go? She got shrunk, just like my hex maker. Look! If we can figure out a way to get Sarah Jane and your Hexmaker, do I have your word you'll help us escape? What? Help you? There's no other way, Tex. We work together or we don't get out. Well, sure. I will, sure I will. Just, just, just get me my gun. I'll show you some tricks you ain't seen yet. You know, no dirty tricks or I'll stomp you. I remember that. I am brain. Buzz, there's a tiny crack beneath the freeze cage. If I can pull those panels a little farther apart, you just might be able to slip through. Oh, oh me can you, Marshall? Me can you? We can't let those power robots figure out what we're doing. See if you can block their view. Right. Move over. No, you move over. No, you move over. Strength of the bear! Bear! bear. Careful, Buzz. Uh oh, no problems, Marshal. Me out. But can't let robots see, so. Robots got ten ears. <laughs> Quick, Fuzz. Use Sarah Jane to blast the cage. It's not safe. You'll get hurt. There's no choice. We'll have to take a chance. Quick! You what? I you to get out. Better aim right, you little desert rat. Oh, that's not nice, Ted. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Shoot, man, shoot! Ooh, get better now. Here goes. <laughs> Let me have that hex maker. Here. Come here, Sarah Jane. Okay, girl. Let's show those ten heads. Oh, those tin cans are too blasted big. Step aside, you bag of bolts, and let a real weapon do the job. Some weapon. Look out! Only one way to deal with these power robots. Speed of the Puma! 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 Keep Gar busy if you can find a way to get that mini sizer to get us back to normal size. Trust me. <laughs> That'll be the day. Strength of the bear! Bear! bear. Keep your robot hands.
lions to yourself. Right to the junkyard. Quick, Fuzz. Switch it on reverse and fire it at me. No, oh, at me. Watch it, Buster. Me try, me try. <laughs> Quick, Fuzz! Turn it on, Brave Star! <laughs> We're all back to normal now, Brave Star. Even them prairie people. Good. Let's get them back to town. Not so fast. This has been amusing, Marshal, but you've gone too far. Now you'll deal with me. Whose side are you on, Tex? Go with the power. I always say, a wise decision. Now for you, brave star, you have angered Thorin, and you shall pay. Strength of a bear, bear, bear. You'll have to do better than that. Oh, don't you worry. We will. Let's get them. Time to do some stomping. All right, quick, the mini-sizer. <laughs> Here you go. I'll stick with my Sarah, baby. Here's a dose of your own medicine, Thorn. Oh, no, no, not again! Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, brave star, don't leave me like this. I thought we had a bargain. We did, but you broke it. I think we've had enough adventure for one day. Let's take the prairie people home. Who did your brave star, buddy? Hey, hey, your pal, you, well, you wouldn't let your old friend stay like this, now, would you? Oh, shut up. This pile of junk is polluting the environment. I better clean it up. Strength of the bear! bear, bear. What about Tex Hex? Well, he'll find a way to get back sooner or later. Hopefully later. Better call the Intergalactic Garbage Patrol. Tell him to clean up all that space junk. Boy, call him right now. It's me, Tex, get what he have coming to have coming to him. He sure did. <laughs> when that coyote tried to make the prairie people into slaves, <laughs> he darn near become a slave himself. Me thinks Tex have to learn that what you do to others may happen to you. You're both right. Kind of reminds me of something somebody said a long time ago. I think it went something like this. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. They used to call that the golden rule. And as Tex found out, it's just as important now as it was then. Yeah. In today's story, Tex Hex learned that what you do to others often comes back to you. So the next time you think about putting someone down, for whatever reason. Too small. Too big. Think about how much better you'd feel if you just tell them what you'd like to hear. My pal. My buddy. So long, parts. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>